Hi guys, in this video, we're going to be talking about why the Florida Panthers suck ass. So basically, this is a very lucky team who got very lucky going to the Stanley Cup last year. Um, the year before, when they took the President's Cup, they kind of rode off of that the following year into the playoffs. So when they won the President's Cup, they lost to their arch nemesis and the team that they always lose to, the Tampa Bay Lightning. It just They just have their number. And my two teams are the Colorado Avalanche and the Vegas Golden Knights. It just happened to be our two years. I was waiting since 2017-18 for Vegas to take the cup, and I've been waiting since 2001 for the Avalanche to get another cup. So, respectively, because Vegas was not around in, when I was first a fan. Um, so anyway, point being is that the Florida Panthers, and the Florida Panthers lost to both my teams in the Stanley Cup, too. The Avalanche swept them in 96, and the Vegas Golden Knights pretty much almost swept them. It was 4-1 to one in the uh, this year's Stanley Cup. So we are 8-1 and one against the Florida Panthers, so they suck ass. Normally against teams like that, I'd feel bad for them. Like, when the Eagles beat the Patriots, I felt a little bad for them. We didn't like them beforehand, so that was different. Uh... Let's see, even when the Rams beat the Titans when I was a kid, I don't have any hate for them, but I've always hated the Panthers. And let me tell you why, the reason why. It's because, first of all, they're a very scummy team. Back in 96, the little rat trick versus the hat trick in terms of killing the rat. I'm a small animal owner, and I think that was the dumbest thing ever. I'm glad they got swept by the avalanche. Another reason the Florida Panthers suck ass in the modern day today, not from back then. So basically, when I went there for game four for the Stanley Cup final, first of all, oh yeah, first of all, let me get to these points. So first of all, they rode very lucky. They beat Boston, who just had a very lucky season in all honesty, and since they play them in the same division, after getting eliminated in the second round the previous year when the Avalanche won the Cup against the Lightning and they got eliminated by the Lightning in 2022, they uh, they, they went barely made the playoffs by beating the Sabres by half a win because they had an overtime loss and uh that was that the sabers had an over uh, that in the regular season in the regular time and the panthers had had that in the overtime loss so because they had one extra overtime loss and one less loss than the sabers which is pretty much like a half game up if you really think about it that's the only reason they got into the playoffs and the sabers were eliminated so if you look at their record they were pretty much the same record as the Sabres almost, just not one less one less regular time loss. So they were lucky enough to be in the playoffs after riding the Stanley Cup final, getting rid of Jonathan Huberdeau, uh, getting in Johnny Goudreau, all that stuff like that. Um, so they were barely they only rode the stand they only rode it to the Stanley Cup playoffs after winning the President's Cup because of that hype from the season before. They did well the next season after barely making the playoffs. So once they barely got in, because they knew they had to get in and would get in and would be able to do some damage from because of how good the record was last year, they beat the Bruins, who were the stand, who were the uh, President's Trophy this year, because they knew how it felt last year. So I knew they were going to do that. My friend lives in Tampa Bay, so when my Avalanche played the Lightning, I got to go see one of the games. It was Game Four for that one, actually, as well too. So it was Game Four for that, and. Uh, yeah, the Avalanche lost that one 6-2, to two, but that's okay. Um, no, it was Game 3, I'm sorry. It was Game 3. We had a 2-0 lead, and then we lost that one. So, and then we won the Cup after 4-2. But point being is that that season when they the Florida Panthers won the President's Trophy, the year the, the Avalanche won the Cup over the Lightning, they rode that year into next year and took out the President's Trophy winner the next year. Because they knew they had something going that had got cut short. It didn't belong to begin with, but it had gotten cut short. So now they are he now they had gotten far into the playoffs and did what they were supposed to do the season before. So now, after that, I knew since my friend lives in Tampa Bay and we saw that game, that we would um I wanted the Florida Panthers to go to the cup because something told me, I was like, I have a feeling my Vegas Golden Knights are going to go to the Cup next. I knew it when my Avalanche were going to go, and I called it. 
we've been kind of waiting for the, the lightning for three years. It had been leading up, but that was the year that it happened. But I was like, I told him at the beginning of the year, the preseason, I'm like, dude, my Avalanche are stand, the defending Stanley Cup champions. If my other team, the Vegas Golden Knights, because I think they could do it. I know they missed the playoffs, but the year before that, they met us in um, the divisional finals, divisional uh, round. Um, I think that they can win the cup the year after. I win this rebuilding thing. And I, I, and my friend, I was like, I want. The, I don't think the Lightning will be back there. There's only other one team in Florida. Let's make a pact that if the Panthers make it to the championship against my Vegas Golden Knights, that we will go see the game just like we saw the Tampa Bay Lightning versus the Avalanche. And he's like, deal. And I can't believe it actually happened. It was insane. So we linked up for game five, and I thought everything was fine at first. I was happy the Panthers made it. I have no love for them, but I was happy that they made it originally. I was neutral to them. And then the, uh, and then um, I was like, I just wanted, I was neutral. I just wanted to see, I just wanted them to go so one of the games would be, so that a game could be in Florida and I could go see a game with my friend because Tampa is three hours away from Miami. So after that, when we got to the game, normally I've been to Dolphins game. I've been a visitor fan at all games. However, this stadium was just very different. First of all, the security guards didn't really care. The police didn't really care. Um, it was a packed stadium, which was pretty nice, obviously. Um, and it was for a Stanley Cup game. The Tampa Bay Lightning Stadium, Amelie Arena, is a little bit nicer than the Florida Panther Stadium, but that's okay. Um, so... We got in there, and then immediately we sat. All the friends were, all the fans were friendly around me. They're all Panthers fans. I was only the only Vegas Golden Knights fan. And when we got in there, this woman who was a, a Florida Panthers fan just when I was cheering for my Knights, every time she would be like, "Shut up," and I'd be like, "What the fuck?" Like even other Panthers fans were looking at her, and that's when things started going a little weird. And then my Vegas Golden Knights whooped that ass, baby. We took a 3-0 lead, and then the Panthers were catching up, and it was 3-2, and I was nervous. Okay. And this stadium, first of all, like everything was fine at this point, okay? So the first of all, the Panthers don't really belong in the Stanley Cup. They got very lucky, which is fine. And they actually think they can compete against the Golden Knights, which is funny. They gave us a little bit of a run for the money in that game, but still, no, we we own them the whole way. So all of a sudden it's 3-2, and the Vegas Golden Knights are blowing the lead, which there was their one weakness of doing. And then as soon as time expires, you hear a slap shot, and then Aiden Hill just catches it. Um, and we were like, oh, I was like, oh, fuck, yeah. And then time expired. Then all of a sudden, you see Aiden Hill throw a punch at the Florida uh, Florida Panthers um, uh, lineman. Because literally, these motherfuckers are so cheap. In the first game and two, they kept hitting our goalie. They kept, when they picked fights with us, they were throwing punches at our, you don't touch our fucking goalie. You don't do that shit. You know what I'm saying? Don't ever get anywhere near our fucking goalie. We'll fucking kill you. You know what I'm saying? What the fuck? So basically, all of a sudden, now that happens. It's three to two, and then the slap shot happens. Aiden Hill catches it. Time expires. Punches fly. Pun Aiden Thrill throws a punch, and all the team starts fighting. Now, for some reason, the crowd takes it upon themselves to get very rowdy, too, and they get mad, and they start uh, literally like fighting amongst themselves and screaming and shit. And I'm like, what the fuck is going on? The security guards, they don't do shit. They literally didn't do shit. And this guy, he turns around. when All the other fans, they have no problem with me. They're just upset that their team lost. It's whatever. He turns around and he says, I have never seen anyone as ignorant as I have. You. I've been to over 40 years of games. I've seen Boston Bruins fans who are super, you know, crazy. Um, I've seen Sabres fans. I've seen uh, Red Wings fans. I fucking hate the Red Wings. Uh, I've seen Red Wings fans, but I've never seen a fan as ignorant as you. And I told them, I was just thinking to myself, I'm like, we're high up here. If I knock this, no, I have 12 years of MMA and I'm 29 years old. And this dude is like some 63-year-old dude who could barely breathe. And my friend is a little bit in shock. He's like, what the fuck? I, I thought every, I th everybody liked you. I didn't I know what was going on. Even the people that are the Panthers fans, you're not doing anything. You cheer for your team and that you're not obnoxious or anything. This guy's just an asshole. He's like, so he's like in shock over there. And then uh, basically he's wearing a bar Barkov shirt, you know? Um, no, yeah, Barkov shirt. And then uh, basically I just turn around and I'm like, we're high up here. I don't want to fucking fuck this guy up and have him fucking fall over and die because I will. I got 12 years of MMA. He's an old fuck. I could fuck his shit up, you know, unless he knows how to fight at a high level, which I don't think he does. So if I fuck him up and he goes tumbling right now and he dies, I'll be eating, shitting, and sleeping in a cell the size of my bathroom the rest of my life. I ain't about to do that. So, but I have to say something, right? You know, as a man, you got to say something. So I looked at him and I said, why don't you and your bitch wife shut the fuck up and get the fuck out of here? And I literally just walked away. And then I told the security guard, I'm like, hey, dude, 
that dude's bothering me over there. Do you think you can handle it? He's like, hey, man, I'm not part of that. I'm like, well, what the fuck do they even hire you for, man? And I walked away and I told the police officer and he's like, hey, man, the game just ended, man. Like, he's like, we're not trying to do all that. They don't do shit at the Florida Panthers stadium, whether you are a fan or whether you're an opposing fan. It doesn't fucking matter. They are pieces of shit. Okay, the team doesn't belong. They kill small animals. The fans are rowdy. They're crazy. And the security guards don't do their fucking job. And you get owned by the lightning in the same state every fucking year. So, I mean, fuck, is it even worth it? God damn, you might as well move the franchise at this point. But all I know is, uh, look at that, look at that team right there. I'm about to. The plaque's coming in, by the way. It took, I pre-ordered it, and it still hasn't come in. Uh, but look at that. Who whooped that ass? Who who, who whooped that ass? Who whooped that ass? Florida. Who whooped that ass? Florida Panthers fans. The Vegas Golden Knights did. It's all good because we fucked them up and took your cup, four to one. You have one Stanley Cup win in embarrassing fashion that you had to come back in the last minute to get of game three of game three and you literally have only won one Stanley Cup game ever and it happens to be against both my teams you've won only one out of nine games total you are eight oh one and eight against both my teams and you have lost both Stanley Cup opportunities well both my teams from Ray Bork and Joe Sakich all the way to fucking William Carlson Jonathan Marcheseau and fucking um Excuse me, William Carrier, fucking Riley Smith, fucking Aiden Hill. You get, you let us carve that goddamn name on the Stanley Cup. So, haha, fuck you. You have zero Stanley Cup rings, zero Stanley Cup championships, and we took both of yours. My Avalanche have three. We are three and zero. Oh. You are zero oh and two. My Vegas Golden Knights went the first year. It took you how long to get to two? I know you went originally in your second year when 96, but still, how long did you didn't go your first year and you didn't win a cup period. We went twice in six years, which you have never done. And we took a cup and it was from you. You've been waiting since 96 and we took your cup and we took it in 96 too. That's why the Florida Panthers suck. Goodbye.